Hey guys, this is David, the Chess Nerd Bird, here with another chess video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video of me playing three minute games on chess.com, and I'm going to be in the three minute arena. It has already started, so I wasn't able to jump in right in the beginning, but we're going to jump in in the middle of this tournament and see how I do. Hopefully, a little bit better than my five minute arena um, the other night. So let's go ahead and join this tournament, and I believe it will pair us right up as soon as I jump in here. I think it's got to search for a game. Yep, here we go. All right, so three minute game. So if you watched my previous video on uh, with five minute games, you saw I lost a lot on time. So I'm hoping to do a little bit better job of this All right, so it looks like Black's just letting me take control of the center. Um, a couple ideas, he'll play his bishop here, knight here, um, potentially. Um, you know what, let's just make some developing, natural, sensible moves and get our king castled, get that to safety, and let's not try to get low on time tonight. Alright, so now Black Castles, the threat is that this pawn would be hanging, but he did not do that, so let's just go ahead and bring a rook to the center. And... I'm just going to try and get something rolling here. If I shut down the center, um, I give up the square for his knight to be able to hop in here. Um, it may not be too much of a threat. If I take, he takes, I take, um, and he could take this way. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, You know what? Let's just go ahead and get my give my king a little a little escape square from the back rank just in case. All right, and now he hangs his pawn. Finally, that's just been laying in wait for a very long time. Now I'm going to threaten to jump in my knight to meet him on this square. Alright, so that just hangs his queen. But this knight does guard against the mate threat on h7. Um, that pawn's hanging. Here we go. So we'll just double. We'll get get attacking on this f7 square. <coughs> and I apologize if my voice sounds different or, or scratchy. Um, very busy day at work the last couple of days, and only going to get crazier. So working in retail, I talk to talk to people a lot. So um, yeah, I apologize if I sound. Um, a little different. Let's see here. I think I can just play takes. He's got to run his king this way, and then I'm gonna jump in here with the knight, and then after well, first, I'm just gonna take this because that bishop was guarding this pawn. So now he just has a knight guarding that pawn. And he just moved it away to give me checkmate. All right. So next game. So we're starting off strong. That's good because yesterday 
I did not start out strong and I couldn't ever seem to find my find my groove so so while we're waiting on this next game I do have some exciting news uh, for all of you I did just launch um, my website chestnerdbird.com so feel free to definitely check that out um, it's got basically all of my chess content in one place uh, with with links to, to different places but for the most part um, okay I'm just tacking that pawn I'll play a little check you're gonna block it that is fine I'll just take here All right, let's figure out what this what this bishop's doing. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? I think I'll just bring a bring a rook to a file. All right, so this bishop can't move because. He's gonna have have that pin there. Um, no, that doesn't drop up. I thought I thought this loses the pawn for him after take take take, but then I forget that that bishop can come in here. So I think what we're gonna do is just stop this knight from coming in here. But I guess he could be wanting to reroute it to come up here as well. So. Let's see here. Let's just go ahead and push here. Perfect. Yep. And then I'll play here, which is this pawn. Centralizes my queen. That's a big word, centralize my queen. I don't know if it really means anything in this position, but nonetheless. Um... I want to reroute this knight here. So first I want to play this move. Because if I play the knight there, then he can move this bishop with, with the with time. He's gonna hit my queen and that's oh. I forgot that he was gonna get that move in. Totally missed that. I forgot because the knight had moved that um, that rook was guarded twice. That's what I missed. Well, that's okay. So I can still get this knight into the game here. Um, he's offering a queen trade. Oh. I can just win his queen. Actually, I can just can I checkmate him here? Do I have a checkmate? Is that a checkmate? I don't think that's a checkmate. Um, all right, I got 47 seconds. Let's see if I can figure this out. So if I can play check here, he can either step up or he can go over here. At which point I don't have anything. So let me just go ahead and take that and then threaten checkmate here. Okay, so he catches the checkmate in one. But I have a check here. He's going to be forced into this corner. Alright, I think I'll just play the rook here. Threatening checkmate in one. He's pretty much forced to take that rook. Well, I guess he could I guess he could bring the knight here. But I would just take his rook. Yeah, this is just, just winning. Just winning for me. Alright, so. Um, correct. This move. Followed by. Yeah, we'll just play here. And then. Um, here. And then 
here. Okay, we'll see where he's going to go. So yeah, back up. I can come here, here. Oh no. Let him get out of this. With just seconds on my clock, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up losing this one. Oh, oh my goodness. That's what happens when you take too long trying to get a checkmate. Oh well. That was tricky with the knight, the queen, and those pawns around his king. Oh well. It is what it is. On to the next game. Alright, the advanced variation. Alright. So far, all, all standard moves, just attacking that, that d4, that d4 square. Oh, and this is a trick. If he plays the bishop here and doesn't have it guarded, um, then you can you can take here and then come back and take and then you would just want a pawn so that is just about always good so this is this it hits this if he takes that's fine we just take back with the bishop so <clears throat> yeah, so I can just play my queen here or my queen my knight my knight here Mm. All right, just play the bishop there, and then again if he takes. Oh, he does not. Um. So what's he? What's he wanting to do? Like play queen here, knight here if, after a castle. Is this the idea? I think I can just play there. Then here. Okay, knight goes back. Why is the knight going back? What if I just play here and threaten to take that knight? Where is he going with the with the knight? What is he maybe thinking about playing F3? Is that what he was looking at? Here and then I'll just take back this way if he captures. <coughs> okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna play here. Maybe play f5 here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, just play f5. I'm just gonna throw in f4. Unless he plays, um, all right. So he plays that move. So that just hangs a pawn. Okay. Yeah, I can just play back now. All right. So this is considered an outpost for, um, for the knight. Alright, so if I can play here, and the king is, yeah, forced into that type of square there, um, shoot. Alright, yeah, I, I think I just have to play my rook and just play this idea, but I mean, he's going to get his king into the corner. play here now right and then okay yeah I think I'm in one of these spots now where I'm I could potentially get myself um, trapped so 
So I think I'm just going to play back here. Okay, and then I'll play here. Probably guard it with like a, a queen move here. Yep. Um, but now I have this check. Now we, that's that's what I was looking for. Yep. There we go. Um, I'm gonna check in here. Oh, he didn't take my he didn't take my my rook. So that's good. That is good. That was good that he did not take that rook. Alright, we'll just try to open up this file so I can bring my rook here as well. Okay. So I'm going to play here, here, here. I don't want to lose on time in this position. So I'll play here and here. No, yep. So he'll be forced there. I can play here. He's gonna move his king. I can play here. He move his king. I'll play here. Here. Okay, yep, you almost got me there. Okay, here we go. Whew! Alright, I knew I had a checkmate there somewhere. I, I don't think I played it the, the best way, but nonetheless. So anyway, I was saying I just uh, I just launched my my website chestnerdbird.com. So on there you'll have links to the Charlotte Chestnut uh, blog that I post to for Simple Chess. You've got uh, you'll have my links to my YouTube channel, which you already know where that's at if you're watching these videos. And you will have a link to my chess.com profile so that you can challenge me to chess games. Um, we can play live chess like here or if you prefer to um, play like the daily games, I also play those. So, anything you would want to do to get better, I will be doing it. I guess I'll just trade there. Um, well, that's not good. Um, okay, I guess I've just gotta. I gotta try to play this way. Oh, he didn't want to take advantage of that. Okay. Alright, so he just like completely long castled like all out of the way. Alright, I think I'm just gonna take that knight, even though it lets him take back and free up this, this bishop. You usually don't want to help your opponent develop, but I can get the rook on the on the seventh here. Or second. Um Okay, yeah, the bishop's not really not really a threat to me anywhere. So just play the knight here. A, it hits that bishop. B, I'm threatening to capture here, thus making this pawn weak. So I think his, uh, I'm, I mean, it looks like his position is just gonna, this just drops a whole piece. If that's with check, and then I can take the bishop. And he doesn't have the bank back rank because of this. 
Okay. And now that just drops the rook. All right. All right, this just cuts off the whole rank from that king. And we're not gonna let him get into here. If he wants to push with his king, I'll play here. Okay, I'm just gonna go get a queen. Man, I've got plenty of time, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, <clears throat> lose on time. Alright, just gotta be careful with stalemates, but I can play this move, forces the king here, and then the queen will come here with checkmate. Alright, next game. Alright, so tonight I'm doing better. Or, well, this morning, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning right now, Eastern Time. And I've been up since... 7.30 this morning, after going to bed at 3, almost 4 o'clock um, last night, so. And also working all day. And I'm playing pretty strong, so. Not strong. That's a, that's a, that's a strong, strong statement. see here what do I want to do I'm gonna just play this this bishop back maintain the pen on the f2 pawn not that I really think that's doing anything but um, you never know all right that knight's annoying I didn't mean to capture there I clicked the wrong button but that's okay I mean it's not like I'm it's not like I, I lost the game or anything because of that move, but okay, so he's hitting this pawn. That can be a little, a little frustrating for me there. Um, all right, I think I'm just all right. So see, now this is where I get into these time trouble. These time trouble because I'm thinking about how to how to guard this pawn. If I play my queen here, it does free up this knight to then protect that that pawn as well. Okay. And you could play knight back and hit my queen, and then also add an extra attacker there. So now he's hitting this pawn too. Um, I'm not worried about that pawn. Yeah, I can just play knight here. That guards this, this. Now he can't take the pawn. Because he'll just lose that. Although he could take here first. Oh, wait, no. I just take the, take the queen. Okay, I guess I just have been a week way too long. Okay, so he just plays the queen back. Alright, so I'll just play here. I can capture this way if he takes here instead, and I can capture this way, so I've got... Um, Pretty much good good chances no matter where I want to go. Um, yeah, I think I'll just keep the queen here, then I guess he could hit me again. Or he could do that to me too. Um Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll just play back. Keep the protection of the pawn. If he takes here, I yes, I can take here because the knight guards my queen. All right, so I'll take there and then take here. All right, so that worked. That worked out. Uh, he offered me a draw, which I probably should take, um, but then he just resigned. All right, so why did he resign? Was he down? With everything's equal, right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, on to the next game. So I came in pretty late into this tournament, but I'm I'm tenth out of fifty one players because um, I haven't been losing on time. So that's pretty good. All right, so yeah, I can just play here. Oh. He didn't take my piece back. Okay. So I will save my piece. Okay, he could have taken... Alright, I'm up material. So I will simply trade. That's fine. Okay, so what if I just push a pawn? I mean, and I just can play here. Right. And then I can just capture back this way. I mean, okay, I, I dropped that, I dropped that pawn. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. If you want to take, I can take. He doesn't want to take. He doesn't have to take. All right. So I think I am doing very well here. Yep. That hangs that pawn. That hangs this pawn. Yeah, it's just getting getting pretty bad for him now. See if I can if I can pull this one off. All right, we're just gonna protect this. Um, his king is pretty much trapped. Um, yeah, so I believe this is gonna be checkmate right here. Yep. So I'm now fifth out of all these out of all these players. That's what happens when I don't lose on time. When I actually stop and think. And move fast and just play quote unquote solid moves. I say quote unquote because I don't I'm not really sure if all my moves are solid, so That's fine. Um, he's playing back. Hmm. Oh. All right. Let me just play here first. I'm back. Okay. I'll just play this just to force him to take. Okay, so he solidifies that point in his position. Let's bring a rook to the center. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. I think here I'm just going to try to try to dislodge this knight, but I guess he could play f4. Oh, he plays the bishop instead. Okay. Um. I guess I can just take there. And then I can back up. And okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing too bad here because now I can. Yeah, like trade all this off here. Okay. Wants to trade trade rooks there. Fine with that. If not, I'm just gonna play this move. Okie dokie. Oh, he pinned my he pinned my my rook. I fell for the pin. I fell for the pin. This is just a losing, a losing end game for me. It's completely, completely lost here. Absolutely no winning, no winning this at all. That move, and now he'll play this move. Oh, I can play this, and uh oh, he allowed me some trickery. Oh, why didn't I just? Ah. Yeah, I mean, his queen's gonna be faster. We'll see. We'll see if he knows how to. Yep. Okay. Good job, ink on one, two, three. Okay, so 19 more minutes in this arena. I may play only a few more games. It is now after three o'clock in the morning and I'm still awake. Facing the French. Let's do this. Discard it with this bishop.
All right, I definitely ended up in a not as good position as I was hoping to be in. Um, so yeah, so as I was saying, if I put my bishop here, he could have just taken here, then after it takes, takes. So he would have won that pawn too. Um, just couldn't allow him to win another pawn, so. He's already got enormous, um, essentially compensation down here on the queen side with, with these two pawns. And it's going to be tough for me, if not near impossible for me, to do anything. We'll see if this works. I think he can play here, but after knight takes, um, you've got the bishop that's kind of hanging. You've got the... Um, Okay, so he doesn't take there. Um, okay, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just play here. And then here. Hitting this pawn. If he moves this rook, and obviously I have that pawn. If he moves his king back, then I'm going to win. I'll just pick up, pick up that rook, but okay. So, of course, he's not going to play that way. Um... Alright, yeah, I think I'll just play back. If he pushes, then I'll just play h3 and then g4. Yeah, this is, I don't think I should have traded there, but I don't know, I don't know what else I was going to do. Because um, I think I'm just, I mean, this is just losing anyway. Because of these two um, pass pawns there, so. Okay. I guess he could just play his king there and that will stabilize his position. Yep, yeah, I just dropped that pawn too. All right, we'll just resign that game. That was tough. Good job, Beto underscore K. All right, so I'll play the French myself. So it's usually a good idea if... Hmm. If black cannot capture, or if white cannot capture back on d4 with a pawn, to, to usually go ahead and just, just take it. Usually that's the, that's the best course of action. Um, I think I can sacrifice that, because if he plays here, I can take. And if he were like to take again, then I open up the, the diagonal at that point. Um, okay, yeah. And if he plays a knight here, then I can just push with the pawn. Oh, he can just take with the queen. Or that too, because yeah, that was with check. You just let me get my get my piece. Cause that's gonna be with check. Alright, and then I'll just Attack this again. Because, yeah, now that I'm up a piece, I'll just. Uh, I would gladly trade. 
trading looks like fun. And I can threaten checkmates. I also guard my queen for when this knight moves. Yep. Alright, so I can play here, and then I can just take there. Yep, there we go, and I'm hitting this pawn. I'm about to castle. And that looks a little more scary. So now when he takes here with check, I can just slide out if I want to. Or I can just come out here, I guess. And I guess his point is he's going to come land here with check. No? Okay. Um, and I will just play here. And here. Okay, I'll play here, hits the rook, hits this pawn. Okay, I'm gonna just play here. It looks a little risky. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna say it ends up looking a lot risky. This knight or this rook can come in here. <clears throat> okay, well, that's fine. I'm gonna come here. Alright, I'm just going to play this bishop here to avoid anything happening around my king. Okay. Yep. Ah, uh, shoot. And that was just a dumb move. For some reason I thought I had a, a bishop double check, or not a double check, but a check and then a... Oh, that's just, yeah. That's just game over. I can't believe I messed that one up. Oh, yes I can. That's, that's what I do. So I think I am playing a little bit faster tonight. Uh, I am still very tired though from, you know, not getting any sleep the other night. Um, the other night. Not that night. The other night. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, I can just play there and there this pawn hangs. Oh no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. That pawn's blocking the bishop. Okay. Yeah, I think it's almost time for me to uh, to go to sleep, right? So. All right, I see the fork, though. I do see that fork, and I don't think he sees that fork. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this. He'll get two pieces for something. It looks like. Um, what's he gonna get? I think I can just go ahead and take there. Because if he takes like this way, then I can take that knight. If he takes... Okay. That's just fine by me. Um, yeah, 
Let's take there. And we can trade. We can trade lots of things. Alright, so this move does a couple of things. Keeps the knight out of here and also stunts this bishop. Um, but now he is threatening this. So we'll just come here. He'll probably play a rook here to keep that threat going. No, he won't. So he'll just... Um, looks like just go right after right after that pawn. So, okay. Um, so he can go back to a light square here. Okay. So yeah, once he goes there... I'll just have to go here. back here you might just repeat it yep okay yep so he's gonna take take and then he's gonna get he's gonna get that if he plays it right he does not he does not play it the way that he was supposed to play it so that works for me If he had taken that bishop first, then that would be forced to take back, and then he would have this bishop takes, which would skewer or fork the uh, the two rooks. I mean, okay, I could. I could just get some of that back, but. Okay, I think he's gonna have to play this rook here. I'll just play here and then play my other rook down. And then I can play this bishop here. Well, actually, I can play here now. And then play the bishop here. And then I can take... Actually, okay. Jack is going to force him up into this corner. So I'll play this pawn here. Yeah, that was good. That was easy. Easy checkmate there at the end. All right. Well, there's only four minutes left, so. This could potentially be our last game if we both go down to the wire. Um, this is only four minutes left. I've got three minutes, he's got three minutes, and so thus we would only have six minutes total. So knight f6 is typically the move here, so I play d3. I've had a lot of people play this bishop bishop e7, and then, yeah, they don't guard this pawn first, or play that bush, bush, bush up, the, the, um, the b5 push there. This castle. Now he plays that move, so I'll play here, going with the d4 push. You play rookie one, protecting that pawn so that I can play d4. Yeah, I think I'm just winning this pawn on e5 now. And hitting this pawn here. Um, yeah, just take there. And then I'm going to pick up that with check. And then take back. And that's pretty easy breezy. And I think 
that's just dumb because that's going to be, I mean, that's pinned to, pinned to the queen. Um, uh, yeah, just not, just not a very, a very smart move. Because, I mean, yeah. I think I need to move my king, and then I can play. Then I can play f3. If I were to play f3 quickly, he would play um, queen c5 with a check. I'd have to move my king, and then that knight would be would be free to do his thing. Or I can play here first, which will stop queen c5. Because if I moved, then he got this with check. He would play here, here. Um, well, not there, but he would hit, hit my king. Speed and check. If I were to move here, he also has taking with check. And that can be, that could be rather annoying as well. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to take... Okay, so he takes back that way. Hmm. Okay, let us play here. And then just I can put here and here. Okay. And I think I'm just better here. Although it's bishops of uh, opposite color, so I think I'm probably just drawing this. And the arena ended. Which is good because I was about to lose on time, and that was I think a drawn position. I don't think uh, I can win that. So, all right. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, three minute arena. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the chessnerdbird.com. I'll put the link in the description below. And until next time, have a good day. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.